hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video and if you're a returning subscriber i've missed you guys it's been a while since i've uploaded because of uni and um this has been one of the most requested videos french tiptoes i actually filmed this whilst i was at uni but now i'm back in london if you guys don't know i'm working a salon now um, just for the time being until I go back to uni so if you don't know you should probably follow me on TikTok or follow me on Instagram I'll leave the links down below but yeah this video is just gonna be a mini tutorial on French tip acrylic toes I'm not using any tips as usual um, this was quite a while ago so even now as I'm looking back at the footage I know there's parts where I can improve on so don't be too harsh on me guys but yeah this is basically what I'm gonna show you today if you haven't already click the subscribe button click the like button and if you have any comments just comment them down below or any questions you have comment them down and then share this video guys oh yeah and thank you for 6k subscribers guys the family is growing now I really appreciate all of you subscribers and all the people that like even the people that don't subscribe I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos I hope that they're helpful and yeah so let's get into this video guys so obviously as you guys can see I've already pushed back the cuticles um, and then I've gone in with that um, cuticle bit the ceramic one that I use and I'm just going in and cleaning up the cuticles around um, the toenails just to make sure that the acrylic can stick well to the nails and that there's no lifting so I basically do the same procedure that I would do if I was doing you know a basic full set on natural nails but I'll just do that on toes and then after I will go in with my 180 grit sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nails yeah so basically it's like what I do normally for um, acrylic an acrylic full set if you don't know already and this is your first time like watching my videos or your first time learning how to do toes you basically have to follow the same steps that you would if you are doing a full set but minus the tips i know some nail techs do use nail tips on toes but i just prefer not to because it just minimizes the accidents that you could have um if you do apply tips on toes um but if you do for example just make sure that they're extremely short i've seen some treacherous lengths like some people you need to cut down those tips because those that's not safe at all like if you're gonna use tips make sure you cut them very 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 short but i would advise against it and just the safest option is to do an acrylic overlay i feel like especially when you're starting off the safest option for you to do is to do an acrylic overlay um or even just gel i'm gonna start buying like more gel polishes so i can start doing gel toes um and if i do do that i will film a video on that as well um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm putting on my dehydrator and my primer to prime the um, nail beds before I start applying the acrylic. And this colour that I'm using for the acrylic is Neo Nails um, Natural Beige. I always get this question like, what nude do I use? What nude do I use? More time it's um, Natural Beige from Neo Nails, or if not, it's Warm Beige, or if not, it's Soft. Is it Soft Beige? It's all the beige that I use, like I use all the beiges, I think if that's even a word, but I use all their beiges or I will mix them or I'll mix them with another like um, nude from another company. Um, but yeah guys, like just have fun, like always remember that you can mix different acrylics to achieve the perfect shade that you want. So I feel like people are stuck on, oh I need to find the perfect nude that I can just buy. Like you can always mix the colours. Um, and my brush is a number 10 from KADS. I'll link it down below. I bought it off Amazon um, Yeah, I think that's it pretty much. Yeah, so you guys can just watch me do my application And then I will come back to do the voiceover for when I'm filing Oh yeah guys one more thing when you're doing nails make sure you use like really really small beads like even here I, d I think I didn't even use like beads that are small enough like I would go back and use smaller beads like now I use really really tiny beads because even here I feel like I applied it quite a bit thicker than I sh usually should have um because you don't want your acrylic toes to be too thick either these are not that thick I'm maybe I'm being a bit too harsh on myself but um 
you just want it to be like a nice thin overlay not too thin to the point where it will break but you know a decent level of thickness um but yeah just start off by applying small beads because if you don't then it can flood into the cuticle area and then you'll just be wasting your time like continuously wiping the cuticle area down whereas if you apply small beads you can manage it um properly and it'll just make application much more easier for yourself So guys, now I'm just going in with my that same 180 grit sanding band I used at the beginning to file the natural nails to now even out, smoothen the surface of the acrylic and to also go in and seal the cuticle area to ensure no lifting. And yeah, that's what I do. And then after this, I will take my um, 80, 80 grit nail file. I wish they did the nail files in a smaller size for toes because I know the nail files that they have for toes are just like basic manicure files which are like 240 grit and I feel like that's not on like a harsh enough grit to file acrylic 
so they need to start making these in smaller sizes so i can use them for toes because i find it so hard to file like toenails with that because it's so big but yeah that's basically what i'm doing and after i do that i will buff um to make sure that the surface is nice and smooth So right now guys, I'm just going in with a liner brush that I bought from Amazon. I will also link down below the set of liner brushes that I um, use. And I use the blue one specifically um, to help me achieve this white tip look. Um, I'm not gonna say what gel polish I use because I don't really like it. When I find like a nice like set of gel polishes, I will definitely recommend them to you guys. But this gel polish I use, I bought it not even too long ago and it started like clumping up so i'm not going to recommend you guys something that i personally don't like but yeah so um that's basically what i'm doing i'm just making the white tip line um before i used to struggle with this but guys with practice you know you'll get better but yeah that's pretty much all i'm doing and then after this, I'm just going to go ahead and use my normal top coat that I always use, which will always be linked down below. It's from D&D Gel. Um, and it's a no-wipe top coat, so that's even amazing. But yeah, and it's cheap, guys. It's only £8. Like, go get you some, guys. Because top coats be expensive as hell. Like, some top coats are like £14. I'm just thinking for top coat. Nah. But yeah, this one is good and it's cheap, guys. And you can get it from Hollywood Supply as well but yeah
and here's the final look guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more videos subscribe to my channel click that like button and comment down any questions you have below and i'll see you in my next video guys Mwah.